Hey everyone, we're on site upstairs in Calusa, California. And we're going to talk about the glycol system for your bottoms up draft beer system. So this glycol unit here is one of our smaller ones that we use for shorter runs. It has a red button here, that is the power. Has the power that turns the chiller itself on and this green button here which is currently turned off because we don't have any beer in these lines yet is the pump so this button the green button is what will kick on the motor to send liquid from the chiller all through the beer lines out to the bar I don't know if you can get a shot of the bar way down there and it'll cycle it back through so it, the lines in here will run alongside the beer lines within the trunk line and keep your liquid cold. So there are just a few things I want to talk about. Um, the first one is every six months or so, you want to check the fill level of your glycol reservoir here. So that's what this cap is. You just pop it off with a Phillips screwdriver. Take a look in there, you'll see some coils. Let's see if I can get that off here for you. Use your hand too. So here on the inside, and we just filled this up, so we're gonna do a little bit of topping off here, but you can see there's liquid in there. There's just a little bit of room on the coils there to, to work with. So you wanna make sure that, you know, that's not drastically low or anything. You might need to top it off with water or uh, with more glycol itself. We do a 40% glycol to 60% water ratio. You can give us a call about that if you need some information on that or how to acquire some more glycol. Um, there is also on the motor, between the motor and the pump, I've got this little assembly right there. So you've got two kind of metal clips with screws, screw bolts that go through them. And we've got this little coupler piece in the middle Right on the inside of all that is our pump key, and that is this little white cylinder here. This has got a little tab on it. So there is a video on how to replace this pump key. Um, every two to three years, you might need replaced. Um, it acts as a fail safe between the motor and the pump here, so that if this were to lock up, uh, you know, it won't totally destroy the motor or anything wear down this plastic piece you will note know that there is an issue with the pump key if your chiller is reading you know 30 degrees or so or, or you know in the low 30s um, however the beer that is coming out of your dispenser is warm and that is telling us that the cold liquid in the chiller itself is not being distributed alongside the beer in the lines of the trunk system. Uh, so that's a pretty uh, common, or that's the easiest and most common way to diagnose that you need to replace your pump key. So that's been provided with you as well. Um, and you know, sometimes the chiller can be located inside the cooler, uh, on top of the cooler, kind of how we are now, or you know, on the outside on the floor. Just kind of depends. It should be fair, fairly accessible, and you know if you needed to top off some more liquid on the inside there or do that repair, um, I have a video on repairing the pump key for you. And if you have any other questions about your UBC model, you'll see there's a sticker on the front here that will have the uh, information on it. So there's a serial number located here. It gives you the model number right next to it. And there will also be the information to call UBC Group, the folks that make these pumps. So yeah, you can scan that QR code right there on there. There's the website that will give you the support number as well if you have any questions for them.